Um, I've been doing a lot of thinking about um, this one girl that uh, I was meeting with in, in my local area. I mean, these were people that really want change. And, you know, so I was really, really inspired that, oh, I'm connecting with some people that will jump into some change. I mean, these people were passionate, passionate people. And um, this one girl was like, you could see her business rules that she has, you know, her life rules that, you know, like Christians won't ever see what's real and what isn't real. You know, she clearly has problems, but she will only see everybody else. One of her, her rules is um, anybody else that's making any logic sense you know, is, is obviously got the problems and, she, you know, she's overcome her problems, you know, because she's got this voice that she listens to and um, it, it, anybody that's completely different than her has to be wrong. And so th that's kind of what we do. If you want to believe that what you are right you you have some insanity going on in your head you have to believe somebody else is wrong that believes the opposite is you and that's where I noticed that you know people are calling me mentally ill and it's like wait a minute <laughs> you know no what you are doing is a little mentally ill but you know it's if you haven't noticed, our medical systems are a little screwed up. If you haven't noticed that a group of people look at normal, natural human behavior, and as soon as they recognize a behavior that they don't like, they put a diagnosis, a label on it, and then say it's mentally ill so that we won't use our you know we won't be doing what's right because to do what's right is going to appear like it's mentally ill so that's how we're all brainwashed into not knowing what's real and what isn't real what's right and what isn't right because we put a, a medical diagnosis on what's right so nobody wants to be mentally ill so you'll never fall into what's right you know because You'll avoid a mental illness as much as possible. And um, <laughs> so that's where I was like, okay, <laughs> I'll agree with you. I, it's the fight. If you want to fight them and, and, and prove, no, I'm not mentally ill, no, I'm not mentally ill, then you'll gr drive yourself crazy. Be it's, it's the fight that you feel you need to get somebody else to understand something when they don't want to understand something you will lose your mind which was what I seen is you know actually that was my whole life experience I had abusive people that were constantly trying to push their views their diagnosis on me and I like I knew who I was I know I'm not crazy you know and so I spent my whole freaking life proving that they were wrong and these insane people don't want to see that they're wrong there's no way in hell no matter what it is you do they will never ever see what's right because they're so focused on everything that's wrong you know that they, they they think child abuse is the right thing they think lying is the right thing they think you know Everybody else is not responsible and accountable, but they can never see where they are responsible and accountable for nothing. You know, it's, it's, they, all they do is push, push, push and do harm. And meanwhile, you got to sit there and, and try and prove and, and try and fix them. That, that's where a lot of women get, get caught up in uh, abusive behaviors. They think they can fix these evil people. You know, oh, if I just give them a little bit of love, oh, if I can, you know, like, I know I'm strong enough that I can guide them down a right path, you know, meanwhile, no, they'll beat the crap out of you. Mentally or physically, these people are evil, 
and they'll do everything they can to destroy you. And at, at the end of the day, you just sort of got to give up that fight and then you fall into where you want to be. As soon as I stop proving, it's like, okay, I ain't proving nothing to you people anymore. I know who I am. And while I was fighting, I could see that they were turning me into them because I was hating the experience. And I was not full of hate. I, I think hate is the worst evil thing that you can possibly be. But I was starting to be a very hateful person because I hated what they were doing to other people. I hated the abuse. I hated seeing all of these organizations claiming to help, not really there, just earning that greedy buck. Um, so as soon as I just said, okay, you're right. You have the right to be right, and I have the right to be who I am. All of a sudden, things started appearing. Things started working out. My life started really falling into place. You know, the more I don't feel like I need to manipulate or change evil ways, just just let evil be, and they'll die out as long as evil has no effect on you. Which brings me to this girl. Because I'm seeing a lot of people how they um, how they fall into this evil mess, and this isn't to this is just to spread information, you know, for you to understand. If you see some people around you and want to know how it happened, how these people are so manipulated, this one girl, like she won't divulge too much, but she compared me to her. You know, and, and, you know, tried to dig up some information of where my past was. What was the driving force that led me to find out what I did? So, yeah, I mentioned abuse. Well, she latched on to that and said that I'm really, really tied to it and I haven't gotten over my past and I, you know, like hell. No, it was just a driving force. I am so grateful for the experience that there's no tie to it at all. I can just see what the lessons were in that experience but for some reason she needs me to be tied to it not have gotten over it and then she would divulge that that happened to me so clearly that's where she is at is she has had some bad experiences that she needed to overcome and um, that's how evil you know traps you is you either um, overcome it or in order for you to survive you have to find a way of surviving within society so that you do get accepted um, so she has these guides which you know and 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 she's saying you know our world is is changing and why are we getting so much more unique talents and her talents that she's talking about is that she can listen to guides and she can see the future and it's like that's so full of bullshit people have been doing that for years there's nothing new there we all have these voices in our heads you've just been told to not listen to it um you have a voice that tells you right from wrong you have guides that you know god is a guide you know this is nothing new. I mean, they used to burn people at a stake, you know, if you divulge too many secrets that were going in your head. That that has been most of, you know, we'll keep our mouths shut about what's going on in our own heads because they're going to label you as crazy. If you if you had voices in your head, then they call you what is it? Paranoid schizophrenic. So, you know, now if we um we started making really um, mental illness, you know, when you are dealing with something that is an illness, like multiple personality, we try to accept that. What What is good about that? And that is channeling. Channeling seems to be okay. That behavior of, you know, what we thought was a bad negative behavior, now we change it around to make it appear good. These voices that you hear in your head, I mean, we used to call that schizophrenic. Now it's a natural thing. It is a natural thing, but you have to know how to use it. 
And um, she says she has a bunch of guides, and some of them are evil and some of them are good, but she's knowing the distinction between which ones are good. And clearly she drives a big car, she talks about money, she talks, you know, all about financial greed and success that she has. So the guys that she listens to that guide her down the right path are the ones that provide her her wealth. That's her measuring tool as to knowing what is right and wrong. And one thing that she's really lacking appears to be her lack of connection with the globe. Um, from my perspective, if I want to find a solution, I have to be a global thinker and think of, okay, if this is an answer, if this is a solution, how does it affect everybody else on the planet? A solution can't do harm to other people. She has no attachment and thinks that that is the worst possible thing. She, you know, that I'm tied to some kind of past behavior that you know, I have to save the world and, you know, like she's wrapped a lot of things in her mind. I don't, I, I if I had this need to friggin' save the world and I'm going to die unless I save the friggin' world, then I'd be really motivated to fix her because she's the one that's destroying the planet and doesn't even know it. She's has no association to you know whatever her acts may be she will pollute the world I mean she wants to invest in in a water concept but the water concept that she is got it towards fixing is some kind of um, um, bottle that you just shake some polluted water and out comes clean water that she can only drink it's not about cleaning the water on the planet no and <clears throat> She wants to, you know, get her little bunker. She's putting a lot of energy that the world needs to fall apart. And yet she realizes if she puts too much negative energy into something, she'll create it. Yet she can't see that her energy is constantly on destroying the friggin' planet. She's not making that connection. Um, but while she has this, you know, no association to how my actions will actually affect the globe, that after, you know, she's got a 30-year plan tied to a 3D reality. While she accuses me that I'm tied to a, a 3D reality. And it's like, well, how come, you know, if you've got a 30-year plan, you're pretty tied to a 3D reality as well. Doesn't make any sense, but... Yeah, if these people are the ones that are going to just save themselves and they have no idea how they pollute the water, then after the whole friggin' planet is destroyed, believe these people are going to destroy the water again because they don't even know how they're doing it now.